Hey everybody, Mike here with EverythingAboutConcrete.com. In today's video, we're going to be pouring concrete steps and we're going to be pouring a concrete patio. So you get to watch us do both right on the same job. Now if you don't know me, my name's Mike Day. I own Day's Concrete Floors Incorporated. And this is my YouTube channel where I teach you everything I know about con concrete flat work. We specialize in concrete floors, patios, slabs, stamp concrete, staining concrete. We do a lot of concrete repair. We even do a lot of epoxy floors. So if those are the kinds of things you want to learn about, then go ahead down there and hit subscribe now. And also hit the little bell notification. I'm coming out with a couple videos a week showing you guys and teaching you guys about all different kinds of concrete flat work. So as you can see, we're pouring the concrete in those stairs first. And we, we usually put it in there pretty dry. We don't want it to sag too much. And we'll vibrate it quite a bit so we will vibrate all the little air pockets out that way when we go to finish these stairs you know we're going to strip all those boards off and we'll rub it all down with a sponge so so they come out really nice you'll see that at the end so hang out for the end of the video so you can see just how nice those stairs come out so we got enough concrete in the steps now and you know there's me and me and Darren there working on the steps and Luke is over there he's going to stop pouring the concrete patio. We gave the concrete a little bit of a, a little bit of water. We usually pour around a six inch slump. We, we put water reducer in the concrete so it keeps the water cement ratio real low which which helps keep it from cracking and allows us to pour it a little looser without hurting the concrete. This is a 4,000 PSI mix. And you can see we got a rebar mat in there for reinforcement. So we're just waiting for the driver to mix the concrete up. Yeah, now Luke's, Luke's pouring that around. Now me and Darren, we're being quite fussy on these, these concrete stairs. We, uh, those risers have a 45 on that bottom edge so we can get our mag right under them and get it right to the bottom of the riser. We'll get it. We'll get it really good. We're pretty fussy on them, and then we'll just leave it until they're ready to stop finishing. But they do take a little bit of time. These are six feet wide, and as you can see, there's four risers plus the patio. If you've done concrete stairs before, leave a comment down down below saying saying yes, I've done stairs. If you've never done concrete steps, then leave a no in the comments and let me know. If if you want to see more of these. You know, just tell me, yeah, I want to see more, I want to learn more. That way I know how to how to gear my videos and what to make in the future. So we're just about done roughing in those steps. Darren will finish it up. I'm going to go up and start magging the edges on that concrete patio. I've got to vibrate the edge first. Once we strip that board off, that edge is going to be exposed, so we want it nice and smooth. That DeWalt pencil vibrator is... Man, that thing's awesome. I would highly recommend getting one. I'll put it, a link down in the description for it. It's, it's kind of expensive, but it pays for itself. And the amount of labor it helps save you when you go strip those boards and you don't have to patch anything. Just vibrating that edge makes a difference. So Luke's getting the concrete poured out. He's kind of a one-man one man gang there. I'm magging the edges. We're just matching the top of board and top of wall. We're from Maine. As you can see, there's still a little snow on the ground here. So everything, most everything we do has a frost wall under it. goes down about four feet into the ground, which is about as deep as the frost goes. So, you know, we don't want the ground moving. We don't want this stuff cracking. Yeah, we're straight edging. You can see we straight edge that first part right off top of the board and off top of the concrete wall. I'm going to finish vibrating the edges and that'll be it for that. Darren's magging the edge right flush. We always mag our edges first. I guess you don't have to. You could do them after, after you straight edge. But we like to get all the rocks pushed down, the cream brought up, and get them all filled in really nice before we straight edge. That way when we go to bow float, the edges are really nice. It just makes the finishing process that much easier.
We also kind of pull the straight edge back and forth. We don't saw it. We keep it on the back edge. So we tip it just a little bit so it doesn't dig in. And we let the guy who's kind of raking the concrete do most of the work. Yeah, as you can see, I'm going to finish that off. We've been doing concrete together, the three of us, for almost almost 20 years. I've been doing it 39. Darren's been doing it about 22, 23, and Luke about 17 or 18. So we've been together a long, long time. Now Darren's going to bull float that. We like the bull float with the rounded edges. That'll be... That'll be down in the description too, guys, a link for that. That's a really good bull float. It, it barely leaves any lines at all when you push it back and forth. And you don't have to worry about working those lines out when you go to finish. It really leaves the surface nice and smooth. As you can see, we use the one where you push it down and then you lift it back up. They have other heads where you just spin the handles and the bull float moves up and down. And we have those too. We just prefer that one. We're a little old school, guys. We've been doing this a long time. You can see my mag. Right now, right now we're cutting the grooves in off that corner, that inside corner. That's where this thing's most likely to crack. So we'll get those grooves cut in right there. And when this does crack, and it will, hopefully it cracks right in those grooves and you won't even see the crack. So this is probably about an hour later. Darren's taking that, that brace off. The concrete's stiff enough now, so it's not going to sag. It's not going to move. That lets us get under it really good and, and finish those steps off. you got to take your time when you're finishing concrete stairs. There's no real hurrying about it. You can see I have a little 6-inch level there. And I'm making sure that those those steps, they slightly slope downwards, about an eighth of an inch. We don't want them tipping backwards. That way, if it rains, you know, they'll just be puddling with water. So we're pretty fussy about them, them all sloping towards the front just a little bit. You only have one chance to do these things right. So it's take your time. If they're not done right, then you're jackhammering them out. We don't want to do that. They're pretty easy to do right if you just take your time. If it's if those stairs are a little level, if they're level or if they're even tipped back a little bit, you just need to scrape a little bit off the front of them just so they tip tip forwards. And that's what I'm doing. I'll give you another tip, guys. See that little pocket thing in my back pocket? It's a, called a pocket protector that holds my margin trial. Man, that thing's a godsend. You you uh, can hang your mag right off your margin trial, and it doesn't really dig into you with that pocket protector. I'll have a link for that down there, guys. You can check that out. You know, those things are only like six or seven bucks, but it's, it's the something we use every single day. So as you can see, I'm checking, and I'm double-checking, and I'm making sure these things are perfect. Even though when we form that up, if you haven't seen the part one of this video where we did the forming, guys, make sure to check that out after. I'll have a video pop up at the end of this one where you can click over and watch how we form that up. I mean, we're pretty fussy when we form it up, but even so, even if you, even if you think you installed the concrete perfectly, you still want to check yourself. There, I'm scraping just a little bit off that. What we do is when we scrape a little of that cream off, we'll save a little bit of it. You can see that we put a couple little mounds of it up on that top patio up there. That's nice creamy stuff to work with. So when we strip the faces off those stairs, you're always going to have a few little bug holes no matter how good you vibrate it. We'll use that cream that we scraped up to fill those bug holes with. So eventually, when, when this is ready, we'll strip the two sides off this, and we'll strip all those faces off the stairs, and we'll rub those down with a sponge and make them look nice and neat. You'll see that right at the end of the video. 
and then we'll broom the tops of those stairs just like we're going to broom the tops of this patio. So the patio is just about ready to start finishing. We're going to mag the surface. We always mag the surface first. This will bring up a little bit finer cream. It will fill in any imperfections. And it just makes it for a nice broom finish when you mag it first. We don't steal trowel exterior concrete here in Maine because our concrete's all air entrained which means it has tiny little air bubbles in it so when water does get on it and soaks into it and freezes those little air bubbles allow the water to the frozen water to expand inside it without popping the concrete and spalling it so if we steel trowel it right now instead of magging it the steel trowel seals that surface off and it will seal some of the moisture or it could seal some of the air that escapes under the surface of the concrete and it'll cause a blister and that's just trouble so we mag it the magnet doesn't seal the surface off as much and then obviously when you pull that broom over it that helps open the surface back up too there's still there's a lot of moisture coming out of this even though you can't see it and you can't seal that moisture in there as you can see, I'm just lightly pulling that broom back. That's a concrete finishing broom. Leaves a nice light broom finish. The guy pulling the broom back, he just wants to go in one nice, straight, steady motion. He doesn't want to stop. He doesn't want to wiggle it. Otherwise, that'll show up. And then you want to finish off your groove mark and finish off your edges to give it a nice picture frame look. And that makes it look really nice. Hey guys, again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I come out with these videos two to three times a week. Go ahead down there and hit subscribe now. Hit the little bell notification so you'll be updated every time I put out a new video. Yeah, you can see I'm putting the finishing tool mark on that groove. Well, this is it, guys. This is how we pour concrete steps and how to pour a concrete patio. Not too bad. Once you, once you learn how to do it, it's pretty easy. Well, we're going to get ready to pull those, pull those boards off. Unfortunately, I didn't catch that in the video, but I'll, I'll show you the end product. So this is the end product right here. All them faces and sides have been rubbed out. Tops have been broomed. So it's a nice, clean look. Now that's it, guys. That's the video. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.